Hi there, Angel from StepOutTheDoor.net here. Uh, I just got in the mail my uh, new tent that I got from the REI anniversary sale, and it was to replace my uh, Marmot Limelight 2P. It was the older one, had one door, one vestibule. It was a great tent, great tent, weatherproof, you know, really worth it. But again, the one door, one vestibule for two of us. It's good for weekends, but uh, you know, we're getting ready for a through hike. We want. We want our own door and we want our own vestibule. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. I got the uh, Marmot Tungsten 2P, uh, not the Ultralight. Uh, I wanted to go with the same tent as the other one because I really, really liked it. And I'll, I'll deal with the weight because I'm sharing with Jay. Um, so I'm going to put it together uh, and I'll show you what it's all about. noisy neighbor he just picked up. As you can see it didn't take me very long to make this or pitch this up. It was actually pretty quick. It was just like my last one. Uh, a couple differences. Uh, the first difference is I noticed that everything is color coded. So I did the red on red and that goes to the fly too. And then the tent poles are pre-bent for the first section. It allows you more sleeping area which is really cool. Um, and then they have like little clips the entire way up and then uh, another difference I saw was instead of an area for me just to put the pole in, it actually had a little hole, so it's definitely more secure. Uh, two doors. We need those two doors so much. It looks like a little bit more privacy on one side and then no privacy on the other. So we, we can uh, take what we can get there. Uh, so I'm gonna go and put the I'm gonna go and put the fly on. But that's basically what it looks like. Um, so after I put the fly on, uh, I'll show you the inside and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, this is what it looks like with the fly on. I took down a, a half of the vestibule so you can see it inside. I believe this is the slightly longer one. Definitely enough for my pack, or maybe two packs. And then we have the one, it's not wide door, but it's pretty wide for us. And then on this side, there's the vent. Pretty good sized vent, much bigger than the one we had in the last tent. And then you can also see that uh, the Sides are color coded. The fly down matches with the footprint, so I know which is the front and which is the back. Every side has guy line points, so two on each side, one, two, and then the other two. And then this is the, I, I think this is not too much smaller, but it is the smaller one of the two. Definitely like this better than not having two vestibules. This is pretty exciting. I'm going to go on the other side and go in. And you can see the inside of the tent. So, oh, we're going in. 
Pretty nice, pretty roomy in here. I'm going to zip it up quick because of the bugs. Again, sorry for the nosy, so not nosy, noisy neighbor. All right, so what I see here is that these two sides have these, uh, you put your headlights in and uh, it floods it with this, um, it's like silk. Um, it dilutes it, it makes it like a, a floodlight instead of a spotlight. Pretty nice. You know, you can both read over here. This must be the head of the tent. Excuse me. Uh, there is a gear hook for your lantern or whatever the heck you want here. Um, there are several little things you can hang stuff on here and here. Uh, okay, I had the jump cut, so don't mind the jump cut here. Um, <clears throat> another cool feature is if it's raining, you can have one person uh, build the footprint and the poles and the other person hold the fly and then you can attach the fly to the poles and once you get inside all safe and dry you can actually build the tent from the inside and that's what these are for I'll probably have Jay on fly duty because he's got a longer wingspan than I do um, everything is taped and sealed nice bathtub foot <clears throat> design but uh you can see the vent right there. It's very nice. Uh, it comes with two pockets. Um, and they have two layers. Like, ogres have layers. <laughs> and uh, pretty nice pockets, though. I'll actually use these. My last ones had, like, corner pockets. And you couldn't put anything in them. They're, they're, eh, they're okay. But it comes with two. And that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm really liking this tent, and I love the double doors and the double vestibule. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, I always love uh, Marmot with their, especially their heavy-duty rain flies. I'm going to spin this around. Yeah, Marmot with their heavy-duty rain flies. Like, this is the 60D polyester tef tefta. I really like it. This is the main reason why I didn't pick the uh, the ultra light. Uh, I still, you know, I, I heard the Appalachian Trail is like rain. Just expect rain. And I've had with my limelight too. Uh, I really liked that I didn't have to worry about rain. You know, it was thick enough. It just bounced off. It was, and you know, even if it was windy, it was nothing. It just you felt like a fort in here. It was. It made me feel safe. You know. So that was the main reason why I chose the uh, Tungsten 2P, not the Ultra Light. Even though I was really thinking of the Ultra Light, but that, that you know, the texture is really thin, you know? The fly is really thin, and I know that's that's how they, caught, they cut the weight, and that's what people like, but uh, I just like the safety of how thick this is. I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind trying the ultra light and seeing if it stands up the snuff, but for right now, we're saving up every punny to save up for the Appalachian Trail, and I gotta go with what I like, you know, and what works out for but, us. Uh, I'm very happy with this tent. Very excited. I can't wait to try it. You guys have a great day.